Hey everyone, this is Patrick Mansner from Mr. Electric 199. I'm doing a video today of an HPS street lamp that I found. I'll tell you the whole story. But today I'm doing a video of that street lamp so I can show you how it works, what it looks like, and all the details on it. So, short story long, or long story short, so there's this big storm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, last summer. It was actu it was actually on July 5th of 2016, and after the the storm, me and my family went out on a little um, reconnaissance mission, and I found this street lamp. It was fallen down, and the or the original lens on it was actually plastic but that was of course completely broken from the probably 20 foot fall it took but a tree fell over the pole and it just knocked it down so i got this thing for free so i actually went online in ebay and i ordered a new glass lens glass is ideal or plastic or glass works so just I just prefer glass. It's nicer. But I think that the um, housing to this is all aluminum. And you can see from the fall it took, you can see maybe a little scrapes right on the edges. I've used this thing a lot because I use it for outside at night. It works good. You saw in my last video how I uh, did a video on my metal halide lamp, 400 watt. This one is. 100 watts, watts, which you can tell from the 10 right there. And let's open up the hatch and see what's inside. I actually found the bulb in, in here for free. As you can see right here, a ballast. There's actually a, a photo of some, some sun sensor to this thing, but I bypassed it right from the leads to the bulb right there. I'm actually, as you can see, you can actually take that thing right off. There's a hinge right there, you can take it right off. So this is the details of the ballast, if you look right on top there. A little blurry. It might be better. It's a 100 watt lamp, and that's the capacitors down there, the bulb socket, the bulb, and the leads terminals for the lamp. So this thing is runs on 120 volts AC, and I knew, and I knew that because I tested it on the wall. But I also saw that 120 volt power line lead going to the lamp pole itself. And in a second here, we're going to pl to, to to plug it in. I actually modified the thing so that I could pl plug it right into the wall, the wall socket like that. And I bought this ex this extension cord over here, so we can test this thing out. And um, let's test it out, and I'll show you how it works. Let's set this camera up here. Get that stable. All right. Here we go. As you can see, it's it starts from from right up right there. And in another video, I'm gonna use an amp meter to measure sturdy amps to measure the amps that come through this thing. You can hear that it hums. When you, by the way, you probably comes without saying, but never make contact with any of these leads right here. They're actually very dangerous. And the thing requires a 4,000 volt pulse to get started. That's what the humming is, the clicking way at the beginning. As you can see, it gets bright very fast, and the bulb gets very hot. It's already starting to illuminate the ceiling. I have the other lights on in, in the basement right now, but turn them off right here. Turn them off, vice versa. It's better. It's getting very bright. 
it looks better with it gets bright bright orange since it's a high pressure sodium lamp but um we're gonna put this back on in a second so I can basically looks like that you can imagine what it looks like with this lens on so watch it let's watch it warm up very bright. It's even skister and you get hard for me to look at. The camera has that little blue line in it, but blue and green line from the light exposure. But as you can see it lights up the room very nicely. There's my shadow. All around it kinda gets bright. And a second here we'll probably be ready to do it. And when I turn it off, it's actually kind of giving you guys a grand a grand tour of my basement. Luckily, hopefully, yes. Okay, and one more thing that I wanted to point out too is this right here. This is the the f the f the photo sense sensor socket where the photo sense sensor goes in. Let me show you what it looks like. That's from the bottom. That's where the photo sense sensor goes in. And let's turn it upside down. That's those are the leads. You do not want to touch them. Well, it's probably fine if you touch the neutrally, but never that one. storm. I actually went outside during the storm that knocked this thing down. And my neighbor's tree, the one of the neighbor's tree limbs fell over and broke the fence, but there's nothing more than that. Uh, big storm, though. I'm surprised this thing survived the hit. And by the way, all of the electronics here were completely soaked in water. Like, you, 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 you dumped the water out of this part. It probably was, and the the bulb, the bulb. That's the part that's most surprising. The bulb actually actually survived the fall. The bulb was in this lamp when the lamp fell. I'm surprised that it survived the fall. I mean, there might be small little damages in in it, but I don't think much more than that. It's it's quite a fall though. Well. That's what it looks like when you, uh, when you turn it on. Let's turn it off to see what it looks like. See, as you can see, it glows very, very, very orange there. Turn on the lights. Glows very orange. And the bulb, the surface of the bulb is pretty hot, too. I just quickly touched it there. And the transformer isn't too hot. The winding's got just a tad warm, but the transformer isn't too hot. And the piece that actually that actually that actually held this in, I had to replace the hardware because I lost it in the first place. I took it out and then it got lost in the house somewhere. But um this right here, it's a copper pipe that I that I flattened and put a hole through so I could fit this bolt in and then it holds it in kind of. But yeah. Well, let's put this thing back on and and the video. simple as that, you just snap it back on, just as good as that. Alright, let me give you a shot on a comparison on how big the street lamp is, just so you can see. 
what it looks like when somebody holds it. So, this is how big the street lamp is. It's kind of bulky, but it's pretty good. It's kind of, it's kind of heavy. I can still lift it, but this is how big the street lamp is. And, uh, that will be it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.